Good day everyone, this is Mr. Arias and I teach science at the Ateneo de Manila Junior High School. So last week, I uploaded a video about how to use OBS to record your own PowerPoint lectures. And ever since then, I got quite a lot of positive feedback from teachers who have since used OBS to record their own lectures for online class. So I'm very thankful for that. However, there is one other feature that I would like to show about OBS today. Did you know that you could actually use OBS in order to enhance the quality of your video conference lectures with your students? Because OBS, after all, has a lot of multiple scenes. And these multiple scenes can actually come into play whenever you're doing a video conference such that you're not limited to just simple webcam and display capture. So if you want to know how to do that, that will be the focus of the next part of this video. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do would be to download the plugin that we need. And this plugin is called OBS Virtual Camera. So OBS Virtual Camera is a plugin that will allow you to convert OBS into a readable webcam that you could use for Zoom, for Google Meets, for Facebook Messenger, or whatever video conferencing tool you use for the class. Okay, so OBS Virtual Cam. And as you can see here, it's a plugin. You can just click go download in the right hand side of the screen. But I don't need to do that because I already have it installed in my computer. So just click download install it in your computer and then we could go to the next part of this video okay so now that you've downloaded a plugin and installed it to your computer it's time to set up OBS such that you could use it for your own video conferences so all you have to do is go to tools and as you can see you have this new option called virtual cam just select virtual cam set the target camera to the one without a number OBS camera and the buffered frames to zero such that there will be limited lag when you go to your video conference. So just press start and from that point on you now have a virtual camera that any video conference app can read as if it were a webcam. So now I will go into my Google Meets app so you could see what to do next. All you have to do in Google Meet is to just go to settings and then video and then instead of the usual webcam that you have in your computer, you could just set it to OBS camera. So you could start with this setup wherein you're just talking in front of the webcam and then when you press your hotkey, okay, you could shift to your lecture slide. So with that, I think it's very ideal that I will test this out with a fellow teacher. So that will be the focus of the next part of this video. Okay, so I will just demonstrate this lecture to set up with my co-teacher here, Mr. Regado. So hello, Sir Regado. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. So as you could see, I have my uh, webcam scene over here set up wherein I'm just talking to my student, wherein I'm just saying, hello, this is our lecture today. How are you doing? And then with the press of my hotkey, I could actually shift to my lecture slide. So in my end, as you could see, I could shift slides as if it were a regular PowerPoint. So I could just press enter and uh, I could go to the next slide and definitely in uh, my student's end, he could definitely see the slides move on to the next as you could see here in this video clip. So aside from this, I could then shift to my other scene wherein I am doing an experiment on the table. So in my end, it's just this setup wherein I am doing this mirror scene. And I have the laser pointer going at the mirror and then I could demonstrate reflection here. My student can very much see this in his setup. He could see the mirror reflect on the light, okay? But obviously, this is just an extra camera. You could also demonstrate using browsers. So for example, in this scene, I could demonstrate the reflection scene using my FET simulation. So FET simulation is very useful for physics because I could simulate certain physics concepts that are hard to replicate in real life and on uh, my student's end, he can very much see that as well. Okay, so those are just some ways by which you could actually record or use OBS in order to have the multiple scenes set up. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Regado, for agreeing to be my student in this video and I hope you guys will find this video tutorial useful. So I hope I was able to show you in this video how to use OBS in order to expand the potential of your own video conference lectures. As you could see, OBS is a very powerful tool indeed, especially with the ability for you to shift between the scene of the PowerPoint to the scene of the webcam to even an interactive scene in your own tables. And I'm sure that the students will appreciate the fact that you can expand your own video conferences such that their lectures will be more interactive and more hands-on. Now, if you need specific tutorials by which I could show you how exactly to set up multiple scenes in OBS, please let me know in the comments below so that I can work on such tutorials. But with that, I really wish you luck in your own online classes and happy teaching to us all teachers. Bye-bye!